Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here. We are back in the show. The last game we'll be playing for this season, and then the first one in to the postseason. So we're going to be going off against the Pirates here. Pretty close race in the NL Central. Pirates three games back, or two and a half. You have also the Cardinals that are two games back. We're going against Junior Guerrera here, 3.31 ERA, 10 and 9 with 28 starts. So we'll see what he can throw out on the day against us. We're going to start with the Hayward in the first pitch, and that is going to be a single straight up the middle. So we start out pretty strong at least with a base hit. Hopefully we can bring him around. On the third pitch, though, we will advance... Hayward over to second with that by Russell. And the next one, Chris Bryant. And that's straight in right field. No chance of even doing anything easy. Fly ball there. So with Hayward in the scoring position, we're going to have Rizzo come up. And Rizzo is going to ground out to second. That's one thing we've been having issues with this season is getting runs in from scoring position. So we leave one run on as we see... The top of the order and is John Lester out here, 9-11, 2.8 ERA, and out of 29 starts. So Lester, not a big, big record here in the win-loss column, but here's a good dive by Russell, but not able to make the play at first. Good dive, though, on that one. And here's a swinging, or a... Uh, yeah, swing and curveball. Can't think of the pitch there. On the outside, then a four seam down to get Moreland. And we finished that one strong, striking out the last two after a pop up. So out in the second here with one out. We'll see what's going on here. And it's going to be Jimenez here coming down from Triple A. And that's going to be in the corner. He's going to round first, go to second. And that's going to be. A double. Jimenez is one of those guys that may come up if we have any injuries. So we're giving him some time here and giving him some break to, I uh, believe, out in center, either Almora and Hap. So we don't get that run, though, but a full count. And this one's a sky-high ball, and it will go out of the park. And that's one thing Lester has issues with. He throws pretty hard. But if a batter gets a bat on the ball, that thing has the potential to skyrocket out. Gives up a lot of solo home runs this time to Chris Hennessy, his 10th of the season. So here we go, Chris Bryant going to the top of the third with a man on first. And there's a single. And let's see with two on if we can get in and get this run back. We have two outs here, but Rizzo, that's going to be a a slow roll on a first and easy tag there on the base. So we'll get none there either. So we're going to go in the bottom of the third with two outs. It's 0-2 count. Go on the outside. Lester with the sinker. Gets Gosselin looking at that one. And then Contreras has a single up the next inning. And we started off pretty strong there. Kind of bobbled it in the outfield, but... Doesn't matter there. And here's one rifled right over and caught the second base. That's a pretty easy one there. So Baez here. Straight into the third, though, and that will be a double play. Baez will have no chance of outrunning that. And now in the fifth with two outs, though. Here's Hayward. That is a high, uh, actually a pretty good Shot there in left center, and Hayward's going to go to third, and maybe with that cutoff, they get him at third. But Hayward with two outs gets a triple. So we need to bring him home. Russell's out here next. And Russell will swing and a miss. Strike three call. That's a fastball up and inside. And escaping the inning again, the Cubs leave. Even with six hits, they got no runs. So top of the six, we're back with the Cubs and Chris Bryant. That's going to be an opposite hit against the uh, shift. And Bryant's going to try to go to the second. And he will sneak that left hand in there. I don't know how he did it there, but he got it. 
So Bryant with a leadoff double. Rizzo here will strike out with the slider down and just protecting the plate there, but we need to put the ball in play. Contreras here swinging for a slider that's outside. And so with two outs, we might strain another guy in scoring position. Here is Baez, and Baez is going to pop this one off after a walk. I think it was a hit by pitch, actually. And so, again, getting out of the jam. So in the top of the seventh, we're going to have Schwarber in here. Schwarber, that's a rocket out right center. It has the potential, and it is out of here. Schwarber hitting this one, coming in, playing left field, and that is, wow, a rocket against Guerrero. He was still out there in the seventh. So he ties it up with the 24th homer of his season. It's 104 out there. And we are dunk his hap out here. We'll put a little floater over short. And we did, ended up doing a double switch in this one where we put Hap uh, moving him over. Uh, but Hayward here going into the double play. So we did make a double switch. We brought in uh, Jimenez who started. We took him out, put Schwarber out there. And then the Haps been in the lineup over at center. So, Russell with two outs. Tie ball game. First pitch to him, and it's going to be a fastball down. So, one thing we haven't seen from Russell is he's had one uh, hit today, but only batting about 237, I believe it said there. And he is due for hitting something. And that is, wow, that was a weird thing. I think it went off the glove there and hit him right in the face and bounced behind him. So we do get that. And now Chris Bryant, look at that rocket. No doubt about that. And that one's out of here. That might even be out of the stadium on that one. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Chris, Chris Bryant opening up. We've been waiting for some hit and some slugging like that. This is 21st of the year, and that's another 401 shot. And now here's Rizzo, and Rizzo against the shift. Could have been caught there if they were playing straight up at second, but they're not there. So now Contreras will not be able to fit that one through, kind of like a one-hop over at short, and that will end your inning. But the Cubs take the lead up by two. And we're going to bring in Chad Crow, the rookie. He's going to get some time up here at uh, the majors. We'll see what he can do here. As this on the outside and slow roller and Crow. A good pickup and a quick throw at a first and gets his man. So with two guys on first and second, that one's hit over and left. And that's easily picked up. I think we have Jimenez still out there. So I'm not, sure, I'm not sure. Maybe we did bring in Schwarber for a pinch hit. But this one is out there easily for Bryant at third. Yeah, today was Schwarber's day off in this one. So that's why we got Jimenez out and left. And Schwarber did come in for a pinch hit. And that was his uh, home run. But Baez crushing another one. This one's in left center, kind of like the one in Hayward earlier, but just does not have the exact speed. We're not in... The crazy speed that we know Baez has is only at 60, but that was a rocket. And now this is going to be Soto with a single there. The guy that may be coming up in the majors soon to help back up, uh, back up one of our guys here. That's his first major league hit. He plays center, so or center. He plays catcher, and so with Hap on the corners trying to avoid going into the double play. If he can. And the first pitch, it's going to be skied in short left. So no chance to score for Baez. In real life, he can probably get that, but not going to test it. Now Hayward. Hayward will squeak it in, and that will score run Baez over into home plate. And there's Hayward getting this one. So we're going to bring out Madden. A guy that might be a potential closer. And that one's going to be down and inside. And that is the first out there. 
Madden we're kind of grooming. I don't like how Rendon's been doing. He did pretty good last year in a setup role, but in the closing role, not too great. Does that one's hit over two half? And now one more out for Madden to two count. And this is right over a little blooper over there to the left. And Lester looks like he will, I think, get the win here. I don't think it's actually Chad Crow. And yep, Lester gets it, moving to 10 11. And Nova going down from uh, to 11 and 7. Madden gets his first save of his career. So as we look at this here, we got a couple of uh, big innings here that we're going to go through as we go to the end of the season as Rizzo here cannot get that over against the shift. And so next one is Chris Bryant. Bryant, that looks like it might be close. And it's out of here on Waverly. So that gets out of the ballpark. Looks like the last minute it stays fair and that is a walk off so the moments we played one where we were looking to walk it off and it's Chris Bryant with the game winning homer there and we're going to celebrate as we knock off the Brewers who are trying to stay in the race but they're struggling here and we're just doing a pretty good job for the most part staying in first but it is a close race if we're knocked out of this out of first, we may not be able to make the playoffs in a wild card. We got some strong teams in our division, uh, in our conference actually. And yeah, taking a look at it, it does just stay fair. But that's on Waverly there. And so we keep on simming here. We got one with Baltimore, and we're still up uh, a couple games here, but we end up taking. And getting in to the playoffs, there's the playoffs look. Arizona uh, beat San Francisco, they advance. And Toronto beat Seattle, so they advance. We have a matchup here against the Nationals. We're going to go through the series here. And we're kind of going to do a new format where if it gets out of line, we're losing by four or five runs, we're going ahead and uh, sim through the game if we do play it. But it's going to be Arietta against... Strasburg. So we'll see what's going on here in the first. And that is a two seam inside. And a little bit of the graphic change. We need to get to a better computer and some changes. So I'll have to uh, brighten this up a little bit. But we'll have to bear for this series. As that one's a easy ball over here. But Chris Bryant crushing one over in left field. That's without a doubt out of here. I think that one's out of the park too and not in the street. Never actually been to this park, so I don't know if there's really a fence out back there, but it looked like that one went out. And so that's a solo shot. Obviously, we're in the first game of the postseason, and now Rizzo out here looking at strike three. That is pretty rare for Rizzo, but we do get one run and go off to a lead. Now, we had some issues with the Nationals this year. But we have Jake Arrieta on the mound. That's his numbers last year. This year, he ended with 22 wins and three losses, taking home the Cy Young. But that one will be up the middle, giving a leadoff single. So speed over on first. And now the rookie Robles will hit this one out. And it looks like it's going to go back and out of here into the Cubs bullpen. And now that's an issue. We have the rookie hitting us pretty good there. Something we need to uh, address or he's been beating us up all year. And if we don't address this, he's going to be beating us up all series. It's a two-run shot, so they take the lead. Back in the bottom of the first here is this is over in left center on the move. And Schwarber and he will get there. Looks pretty close. Could have probably moved the runner over on first if that hit the ground. And now the runner goes this time, and we're going to actually catch the ball there and get him in a little pickle there, and we actually end up getting him at first. All we had to do was tag the back, so I don't know why we're playing pickle there. But starting in the second, Baez with a leadoff single. I believe that is a leadoff single. 
Uh, no, that's a two-out single. And Almora will sky this high in the air and an easy ball out in center. So we're not able to drive the run around. So bottom of the second. Look in here, and there's a leadoff single. So again, that's two leadoff singles, two innings in a row. And here we go with the high fly ball. Just about the same spot as that fly ball over and left. Almore is going to actually take this one. And little, almost a little collision out there. But luckily they were able to deconflict after that. But finally Arietta with the changeup. Getting his first strikeout on the day. So that is something uh, surprising here. In the second inning able to get his first. 1-2 count slider outside. And he's gone. So Arietta striking out the last two guys out of that inning. And we're back to the top of the order, though. And that, wow, was a bang-bang play at first. We do take a look at it in the end. And he is actually safe. But here we go. We get the runner over on second. Trying to get the double play. But the batter is just too fast. That's Rublez out there. And that was just over Rizzo's head. Rublez is going to go third. The throw is going to be over there, and he's going to get there. The throws a little bit offline and hits the ground a couple times. We end up blowing the bases with a walk, and that might be two runs scored. Schwarber throws it in, and that misses. Uh, Contreras looks like it, he lost it against the slide, and we end up just simming this because it was a 1-4 to four game, and Strasburg, just beats us up. Not able to hit anything. And they take this one 5-1 after tacking on another run of the 7th. So they take the first one in Washington as we're going to sim a couple here. We're in the bottom of the 10th. Trying to hold off in a 1-1 game. It's tied. we got to hold them. So we have no outs here. They're going to bunt over. And it's going to be hit over. And it's thrown in the outfield. And the one run will score. And it won't matter. Because that's going to be a walk-off air right there. And just wow. This sums up how some of these games have gone in the last couple of episodes. We've thrown airs. We've missed people. Not able to get the ball over there. So, the elimination game. Hendricks is out there pitching. We kind of missed that up because we judge it going forward. I don't know what Hap was doing down there. But that's that leadoff speed that we're already having issues with. The man on third to start it off. The one-two count. That's straight over to Bryant. That'll hold the runner at third and get our first out. See if we can hold him at third here. Hendricks needs a good... Good time is this one's in for a single though, and that will score one. It's a hard hit ball, and the batter's just not fast enough. So we do get the out there. So with two outs, first pitch straight over to Baez for the easy out. And again, starting this game, one to zero is the Nationals. So we need to get something going here. Hayward Russell Bryant is going up with the first bat. The first pitch. And that one's going to be a single. Hayward having a lot of leadoff singles in this franchise. And that's one of the reasons why he continually leads off. Oh, Russell popping this one up. And easily caught. And now the next one, Bryant. And that's going to be in for a double over in center field. Actually, it's left center. And... Throws a little offline, but we're not going to risk it. Now Rizzo. Rizzo's going to have this one in right field. It's going to fall. It was kind of weird like he was playing the bounce. We could have had a run there. Just, just pretty strange. A Schwarber with one out. Schwarber high fly ball. Left field. This will score a run. It's near the warning track. Hayward will advance. And from there, we'll have runners on second and first. So with two outs. Trying to get this going. It's going to be Contreras and straight over to short, unfortunately. Getting the first out, force out at second. 
So we end up tying the ball game off three hits, but Washington off one hit has that run. Chop ball over at short. Russell, good play, good throw, but again, can't handle it. Another error by the Cubs, and this just not boating well. With an 0-2 count, we end up throwing one there, and it's hit over in right. And this one's going to be a blooper over in right. This one, Hayward can make a play on it. Snags it, but not able to get anyone messing around there in the infield. As we look at the score so far, Boston ups by two over Detroit. Tie game over the 1-1. One -one. But with the fastball, we get Ross. And remember, Ross is out here pitching. And he blanked us pretty hard in the regular season the last time we played him. And it's not going to matter about scoring runs. If they keep on hitting shots like that, it's a solo one. And that makes it two. Harper out there with that one. I'm not sure if Bryce Harper is a free agent uh, at the end of this year. I'm not sure if they resign. Well, we're going to have to take a look when we do the offseason and switch over to the new uh, game MLB, MLB The Show 18. But here's Hayward. High fly ball in right field. It's going back, and that one's off the scoreboard and gone. Or actually, the lineup board over there as Hayward ties the ball game 2-2. This elimination game, we're trying to stay in it. And that was a good shot there by Hayward. Like the first pitch and lit it up. And so Russell is going to try to come out here. But he ends up popping out. Now Bryant striking out with that ball on the outside. And we're just not doing great. Ross blanking us. And here's Rizzo. This time the shift is a little bit more, and it doesn't matter, so it's caught. Top of the fourth. This one, high fly ball in left field. It might have a chance in the basket. It's going to go under it. And we're going to throw it in with Schwarber, and he's going to throw it into uh, center. Kind of weird they don't have a cutoff man there, but all right. One, two count. Slow roll to short, and this will end up scoring another run. So it's Actually, it will be the last out of the inning. Forgot about that. And so it'll be a 2-2 ball game. Schwarber can try as Baez aren't able to get anything. So we're back in the top of the fifth. And there's a four. Seam got lucky with that one. Staying in the bottom. But that's the pitcher. So we're on the strikeout. Top of the fifth. Going over with the man on first. Easy play with that slow roll of the third. And we get out of the fifth. So... Going in to the bottom of the fifth here. Hap. It's going to be a high pop. It looks like it just fits under the glove at land over at first. So that's a pretty good ball there. We get one on there and we got a decision to make. And Hendricks is going to come out here. He's going to put that one up the middle. And that's a diving play. Wow. Almost snuck through. But just a good play at short. And turns it into a double play. So in the sixth here, this was a high fly ball right field. It looks like it's going to stay in. And this one's kind of weird. I thought we caught it, but it looked like it hit off the wall. So I'm not sure what happened there, as it will be a double. Kind of weird. The no one count. This one's over in right field, and Hayward will have this one. It will score a run. It looks like pretty deep. Hayward's throw in. Will hit a couple times before getting in to Contreras, and that's an easy run. So Bryce Harper coming out here in the top of the eighth. We're going to make a change and put in Josh Tomlin. It's a three to two game. They ended up uh, end up popping out the next uh, guy, so we're going to bring in Tomlin. It's a full count though with him on the mound. A four seam that looked like it was good. That was in. Inside a little bit, but just wow. And now the next one's a rocket over in center. That's going to be off the wall. Hap's going to pull it down. He's going to throw it in. And uh, the runner's rounding third. So that's pretty simple there. As that's another run to two run ball game. Remember, this is a double elimination, or this is a elimination game, not a double. It's only single here. But hey. Elimination game. And so Tomlin. 
Four seam the outside. That's a good ball there. He's looking for something like that before that was hit up there. So change up. Gonna go on the outside, and there it is there. So Tomlin looking pretty fresh besides that one hit and getting some. But we're gonna try this ball up in the zone again. And this one is definitely in there as Lynn is just staring at that one. So Tomlin able to get something working here. A 2-2 count later, though, and that's going to be a base hit at least. Throw into home will not be in time, it looks like. Well, I was actually pretty close, closer than I thought it was going to be, and maybe hitting a cutoff man there gets that. But here's a slow roll back to Tomlin and getting the ball over the first to get the easy out. It gets Adam Eaton. But here, that one's going to plug through, and that's going to be runners on the corners. Hayward with that arm. Still with the mark. For some reason, we're throwing a little wild out here. But finally, Tomlin with the cut. That's Ross. He's still out there pitching. And he's still going to be out there pitching as that one's a base hit for half. So Ross might be coming out of this game. He more than likely will. And we're trying to come up. It's going to be Coda Glover coming out here. A 10-1 record. Okay. We're going to end up pitch hitting our next batter. We're going to bring out Zobris. And Zobris high fly ball in right field. And it looks like it just died out there. Thought it was pretty well hit, but I guess not. So Hayward. And Hayward loving that left center. And he's hot. That's going to be a base hit. We're going to send the runner over from second and... Hap's going to slide in easy to third. So runners in the corners with Russell, a sky high ball. That's in left center, no doubt about that. And there it is. Addison Russell, three run shot. Let's tie the game and let's go. Glover before this had given up no runs in the previous two games and was pretty solid in the season. But there's a three run shot and this hold is blown. So trying to get this one here as that's against a shift against Bryant. And that's going to be caught over by the second baseman. It looks like they did a shift to the left. And now Rizzo. Rizzo again there deep in the infield. And that one's going to be pretty bang bang out as we have Carl Edwards Jr. come out here. He's pitched one inning scoreless time. And this, on the first batter, will put it out into shallow center and caught by Russell. So the next batter, a one count. Putting this one up, and it's going to be a base hit. Looked like it was inside, a little bit too far in the zone, trying to pitch around some of these guys to start with. So an 0-1 count. The steal is on. And the ball looks like it's there, but sneaking in his left hand. 2-2 two, two count though. Here it is. It's up and getting the pop-up. A deep, deep pop-up over on right center near the warning track. It's caught by Hap. They're not going to try to go to third. Good relay throw and good throw over to Bryant. So an 0-1 count. This is over to first. And we get out of this inning. So some scary parts, some big hit balls. But at the end of the day, we're going to the ninth inning tied at the bottom so we need to get this Schwarber though is going to pop this one up pretty good hit if you just want to hit a level and might have had a shot to get out of here but not today so let's see it's going to be Contreras striking out that one's a fastball up and inside so Baez 0-2 count and swing and a miss and a slider. That's in the zone anyway, so didn't have a choice but to swing at it. And now Edwards coming out here for the top of the 10th. We want one more inning out of him. 1-2 count. That's a fastball. The outside looks like it's hit deep into right field, and that is out of here. I don't know what Hayward's doing there, but uh, he's already seen that this is some trouble. And that's a hit off Lynn, too. We caught him looking a couple times. He waited for his pitch this this time, and he rocked it. So, 
And that was the first batter. So 0 oh, to count. That's straight over to Schwarber. I don't know what happened there. It looked like it was over his glove. And that was pretty strange there. Zorin's going to hold with a double. That's another error by the Cubs. I think we've actually had about four or five errors in these two games. So going to the outside, it's a slow roll of the third. Runner's not going to uh, we'll end up advancing on a wild pitch before this, but can't advance home. 2-2 two -two count, four seam outside, and a Whiters is just staring at that one. That is a pitcher's call right there. So 1-2 count, a curveball outside, and Zimmerman swinging and a miss. But it's a one-run game, and we need to get that one back. We have Hap Edwards and a Hayward. Sean Kelly come out here for a save. So Hap, it's a good hit ball, but it's straight to the left fielder. So we're going to have to bring in a pinch hitter. It's going to be John Jay. And John Jay in that left center will have a deep fly ball. Looks like it's going to go up to the wall. It's going to bounce, and that's going to be a double. So Hayward, who's hitting pretty good, could bring Jay home. So a 2-1 count, and Hayward. Probably one of his first ground outs there. We do advance the runner, but it's two outs. So it's up to Addison Russell. We had that three-run homer, and he can't be the hero again. It's a straight over to short and almost a bad throw, but they do pick it up. And the Nationals finally beat the Cubs after being knocked out the past couple of years by the Cubs. We'll advance to the NLCS. As the Cubs end up going home, we have some revamping to do in the bullpen with some starters. We got some revamping to do with our bullpen in general, our closer. We need to look at that. Maybe we uh, end up getting a, another infielder, outfielder. We'll have to see who's in free agency. But Washington goes up against Arizona as Arizona end up beating the Dodgers. So looking from Arizona standpoint, they lose the first game. They lose the second game. Going to the third game. They lose the third game. So elimination match. They come up with it. And they're knocked out in five games. So we're going to Boston. Toronto and Boston ends up losing. So it's Toronto and Washington. Was Washington in their first ever World Series? Can they make something happen? Toronto takes the first. The second game. Estrada wins this wins that last one and Washington stays alive and we're going to a game seven and that will end your season that was a game six Toronto takes it so so we're going to end up doing our off season on a Friday I'm going to end up saying at about four uh, eastern time in the afternoon and we'll switch over to the new Madden will check it out with this franchise because you can move it over. So I will see you next time. Later.